हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल एज आर चैप्टर सिक्स वॉज गोइंग ऑन दैट इज सॉइल इरोजन एंड कंजर्वेशन सो यस इन दिस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सॉइल कंपोजिशन ऑफ द सॉइल एंड देन सॉइल लेयर्स दैट मीन सॉइल प्रोफाइल देन वॉट आर द कोजेज ऑफ द सॉइल इरोजन एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट इट मीन्स सॉइल कंजर्वेशन so all these topics we covered in this chapter the reading part of the chapter is already done and yesterday we had a session of the doubt ticking section by the virtual class a live virtual class so we had already discussed all the things we revised the chapter so today we are going to revise the chapter in the form of the book work so what you can do so yes today it's a time to discuss the book work so what you can do you can uh, do the book work priorly and then match the answers will with my answer so that it will be easy for you to check it out whether you have done right or wrong so it will revise or it will make your concepts more uh, strong than before so yes now we are going to discuss the book work one by one so first of all we are going to discuss the mcqs so yes first mcqs are present on page number 54 first mcq is rocks break into small pieces due to so yes weathering of the rocks is what breaking down of the rocks into small pieces and it can be caused by rain wind rain and wind so obviously both can cause the uh, weathering of the rocks so its answer will be c R uh, rain and wind next is which of the following is not a constituent of the soil which is not present in the soil clay sand plastic c plastic it is non biodegradable means it decreases the fertility of the soil it decreases the cultivation over the particular type of the soil so yes plastic is not the part of the soil next is soil supports the growth of plants by holding their leaves stems and roots obviously roots because roots are only present in the soil stem and the leaves are present above the soil so um, roots roots a uh, soil help in supporting the uh, growth of the roots of the plant next mcqs are present on page number 56 first question is it contains very little humus top soil sub soil bad rock there is very little humus humus is present but in a very low extent so its answer will be b top soil is having very high amount of humus bad rock do not contains humus at all so at last sub soil remains which contains a small amount of the humus okay now next one is second which component makes the soil fertile yes fertility of the soil means cultivation power of the soil gravel humus sand so its answer will be humus the dead and decaying organic matter like plants and animals it makes the humus so it increases the fertility of the soil next is which one of the following does not cause soil erosion deforestation overgrazing growing plants so its answer will be c growing plants because it conserves the soil rather than to erode it okay so yes next one is mcqs present on page number 58 first one is which which of the following is not a method of soil conservation weathering step farming afforestation afforestation means uh, growing of the plants on a large scale so its answer will be weathering because it do not conserve the soil it makes the soil okay next one is 
a large amount of humus is present in subsoil, bedrock, topsoil. Now only we discussed that the most fertile layer is the topsoil means the maximum amount, amount of the humus is present in the topsoil. Next one is removal of topsoil is called soil conservation, soil profile, soil erosion. Its answer will be C, soil erosion. We discussed this concept in detail in our reading part of this chapter. Now last MCQs are present on page number 59. First MCQ is, if the topsoil is removed, we will not find rocks, humus, water. We will not find humus because humus is maximally present in topsoil only. Okay. Next is water and wind cause soil formation, soil erosion, both of these. So its answer will be soil erosion. The removal of the top fertile soil is known as top soil erosion. So these are the MCQs which were present in this chapter. Now it's a time to discuss the circle the odd one out. First one is topsoil, subsoil, gravel. So its answer will be gravel. Because Topsoil and subsoil are the layers of the soil which makes the soil profile. But gravel is the composition of the soil which is present in the soil. Okay. Next is strong wind, embankments, over grazing. So its answer will be embankment. Why? Because strong wind and overgrazing causes soil erosion, but embankment causes soil conservation. So these two are opposite process to each other. Last circle, the odd one out of this chapter is plowing of hillsides, plow, loosen the soil, growing plants, avoid overgrazing. So yes. Growing plants and avoid overgrazings are the step for the conservation of the soil. But plowing of the hillsides is the process for the cultivation of the plants. So its answer will be plowing of hillsides. Okay. Now next one is filling the blanks. First filling the blanks is dash makes the soil fertile, moisture or humus. Its answer will be humus. Many times we discussed in this chapter. The roots of trees reach the layer called subsoil or bedrock. Its answer will be subsoil. Trees grows in the topsoil but the roots can reach up to the subsoil. Okay. Next is the uppermost layer of the earth is called soil or core. Its answer will be soil. Next is the breakdown of rocks into soil is called breaking or weathering. It, is, it was the first topic we discussed in this chapter. So its answer will be weathering. Breaking down of the rocks to form the soil. Next and the last filling the blanks is the third layer of the soil is called subsoil or bedrock. Its answer will be bedrock. And bedrock is also called as parent rock. Now next is true or false. First true false is we do not depend on soil. No, it's false. We are dependent upon soil. For many of the things. For cultivation. For growing plants. For walking. So many of the things. In many ways we are dependent upon the soil. Next is step farming reduces soil erosion. Yes it is true. 
it is the process for the soil conservation next is flowing water erode soil on the river banks yes that's why we are making the embankment so that we can stop the soil erosion the protection against soil erosion is called soil conservation yes opposite of soil erosion is soil conservation next one is flooding of rivers cannot be caused by soil erosion no flooding of the river caused the soil erosion okay now we are having three pictures in which you have to write the names so yeah I, i will write here only first picture is planting trees here a kid is planting trees next one is step farming we discussed in soil conservation next one is making embankments you can write embankments this was this will be also right okay so yes now it's a time to discuss uh, discuss the oral question and science quiz question which are left in the book work first oral question is why or oh, why are all agricultural activities done in top soil because the most top soil is the most fertile soil in which the humus content is highest that's why next is what is afforestation afforestation and deforestation are two different things afforestation means growing of the plants on a large scale okay deforestation is cutting down of the trees on a large scale these two are opposite to each other next is how does overgrazing lead to the soil erosion when actually we know that when an animal graze on a particular land for a large uh, for again and again then it will eat most of the plants green grass whatever present on that particular soil most of the plants and green grass will be eaten up by that by those animals so it will cause the loosening of the soil and it can be easily carried away with the wind and water so that's why overgrazing leads to the soil erosion now last part of this chapter is science quiz name the uppermost layer of the soil see so yes what is the name of the uppermost layer of the soil top soil keep two ways to conserve soil we discussed five ways you can write any two like afforestation growing of the plants in the farmland making of the embankments step farming and reduce the overgrazing so you can write any two steps next is name to natural agents of the soil erosion so yes soil erosion is the removal of the uppermost layer so natural agent means nature can erode the soil so yes what are the natural agents wind and rain water or flowing water we can write anything so these are the two agents so yes beta this is about the book book work and i am hoping so ki you have done the right answers because your concepts are right but still if any doubt was there then it's cleared by this uh, by this discussion so yes many of the notebooks uh, i uh, i want to share one more thing with you that many of the notebooks were good well maintained but some of the notebooks handwriting was an issue you have to improve your handwriting because nowadays you are at home and you can write in a very good manner so yes beta workload is not too much ki you can hurry up or you can mess up all the things so you have sufficient time to write your answers to so write it properly maintain your notebook properly and paste the worksheet too so yes this is all about for today